It's my feel good breakfast show. Mm, mm, mm. Welcome back, you beautiful people. Now, listen to this. It's always a good idea to hit pause, right? Reflect, and where you are and what you want is something we always need to take into account. And what about that? And what about anything else when it comes to, uh, I think, a game, right? So, we are about to do another round of moments, memories, and more. Now today we are talking about deal breakers in friendships and something that we've all had to face. And our contestants and our panel, let us say, mm -hmm. is Carlitos and the beautiful Zoe in the building. Now, guys, I've got a question for you. Obviously, right. this is a little bit different. This is not a time-based uh, game. This is more about giving input and okay. giving Good. us your opinion. All right, no, so you can relax. Deal breakers. You can relax. You I'm never deal breaker. Breaker. I'll be honest with you, Zoe. Carl's a little bit nervous. Every time anyone finds out they're going against you, Zoe, they know, oh, shit, I've, got to, I've got to bring it. The I've anxiety got to bring was the so game. high now. I was like, what are you going to <laughs> In five seconds, I can't do this. But let's share, okay? okay. Yes, let us share. Let, let us share. share on this yes. information, right? So, for you guys, a simple question. What is a deal breaker for you in a friendship? What exactly are some of those deal breakers? Something that, I, I, I can't do this. This is going to end it. This is where I call it. A deal breaker, if I may go first, yeah. is if you betray my trust. Mm. I struggle in general to trust someone, and I trust Wasty. So when I share a secret with him, I don't want that secret floating around with someone else. So yeah. that for me is a complete deal breaker if, 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 you, if you can't, you, you know, if yeah. that trust is not there, that for me is a deal breaker on a friendship. Yeah. And it's difficult to obviously do much after it's been broken as well, because, I mean, you're always going to have that... Oh, that mistrust will always be Yeah. There. Call for you, something that stands out. Red flag in the friendship. Red flag, inconsistency. You know, you get people like, you know what I believe, hey? Like, people just need to relax and just chill out and look after each other. But then when somebody responds in a way that's not, you know, sort of connected to what they told you, then I can feel that inconsistency. I don't like it when somebody's a certain way with one person and different with other people. Mm. Okay, I feel I like you. you have to have that consistency across, and equality across every relationship you have. Yeah. So if your relationship with me is like special and you're only nice to me, I'm not having it. You have to show that in your community and the way you interact with other people as well. I like that. So yeah. it's not, not conditional. Exactly. I like that a lot. For me, something that definitely stands out, especially in this game, is loyalty. And I think that mm. kind of preys on what Zoe was just saying. I mean, it's of utmost importance in this day and age, especially when you have all this chaos around you. You need that loyalty. You need that trust. Yeah. Have you ever had to call that flag out? Have you ever had to go through the moment of, listen, this is a red flag. This is something I don't do. I can't work this friendship anymore. We've no. got to end it. I'm, Have you ever gotten to that point? I'm terrible at actually doing the confrontation. You'll just hear less and less of me. I'll just backtrack. <laughs> oh, you just like I slip away out of their life. You. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly they're like, oh, I, I don't reply to messages. Okay, okay. Yeah. I don't say yes to going out. I just backtrack. Okay, so and then, and subtly you just disappear I from just their life. Disappear. I know, yeah. it's horrible being ghosted and I'm doing this now to friends. Well, they were friends. They're not friends anymore. <laughs> well, they're not anymore. So they so... deserve it. So it's don't worry so about guys, it. Guys, if you haven't got yet, then I think you can put two and two together. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Call it's, for it's, you. So what Zoe was actually talking about is silent cancelling. Silent yes, cancelling. Okay, when you okay. cancel them silently and they'll never know uh -huh. until they're like, hey, I haven't heard from you in a while. Well, you were cancelled. <laughs> or the response head. to that is just another two blue ticks. That, that also could be it. But, you know, confrontation-wise, I think that it's just, it's important. I'm going to tell you how I feel. And if yeah. you can't deal with that, then that would break the relationship. Or it'll keep it going and say, you know, thank you for your honesty. I had a very cool confrontation with a, with a, a friend of mine the other day. And yeah, it was I really go. healthy. Mm. It was healthy. And I, I think it is, it's great because I could share I didn't like a certain thing. And in response, there was something that came back that was... Thank you for your honesty. And I think that's where you know the friendship is real, where you actually have to have that honesty. Sometimes it does break. And if it breaks, you know it wasn't meant to be. Mm, I like that. That's a good way of looking at yeah. it. Just move on with life. Let bygones be bygones. There we go. I love that. Look, let me take that to this level. Obviously, we've spoken about some of the red flags. But when it comes to some of the most important factors and traits in a friendship, what exactly are those for you? Sorry? I think, you know, you want someone in your corner. You want someone that wants to see you succeed and you want the same yeah. for them. You yeah. want to, you want the best for that person. Um, and, and I value that and I think myself and Wasty, we do have that special friendship because we, you know, we get to work together mm. on various platforms and like I tell him time and time again, I have your back, like yeah. I'll support you no matter I what. Got you. Yeah. 
And I think that's kind of, especially if you're a risk taker or you're doing big moves, you need to know you've got that support no matter the outcome. No, I love that, especially in a space that there aren't many rules and to have someone that you can kind of have that guidance yeah. with as well. Or just like, I'm gonna take a risk, hold down the fort, I got you. You yes. need someone like that, I love that. I think that's something I would definitely add to my resume of things I'm looking for. But yeah. for you, Carl, I know you've got a couple of attributes there you're wanting to... You know, I, I think that not everybody's a psychologist, but yeah, the one sure. thing about a friend is that even if they don't know exactly what to say at the time, they will just stick around. They'll just be in the room with you and they'll listen to you rant and they rave and, and, and get sad and cry. You know, not everybody is, is suited to that sort of thing, like, let me tell you what to do. And I think that's the, the beautiful thing about it is that you can actually just have somebody in the same room be that there. knows exactly. Yeah. And yes, on the other platforms we work on, we've had some really, we had ups, we've had downs, but the great thing is that we've always stuck it, you know, in that room, we, we stuck it out and said, don't worry, I've heard you, I feel you, and you will get through this and I'm gonna check on you tomorrow. Like, that's enough for me, that's friendship to me. I think it's something that everybody absolutely deserves as well. We're talking about friendship, we're talking about some of the highlights and what a beautiful discussion we're having right now. And it's your turn, of course, now, Mzanzi, to answer and maybe win something big too. So, the question to you is, what are the three most important factors in a friendship for you? Now, you've heard the answers from our panel, but we wanna hear from you, so share your answer with us on the Expresso page or Twitter page, and remember to use the hashtag more than a rush in your entry. Now the best entry will win a 2,000 Rand in cash hamper and uh, on top of that you're also going to get a delicious Omar Rusk hamper. Now remember the T's and C's do apply and can be found on ExpressoShow.com so without further ado I wish you nothing but good luck and I'm gonna try to see if I can get some of these Rusks because it looks like there's almost nothing left. Mm. Well done Sorry. guys. Great conversation. Thank you. Wholesome. <laughs> There's more in every dip with Omar.